Yes! yes. <laughs> I'm sure you all have a lot of questions. How did that Bayonetta air dodge? How did I win that game? And why is Talking Ben there? Well, rest assured, I'm going to get to the bottom of why Peach is so peculiar. Being the first newcomer in Melee, Peach isn't exactly a gimmick character. She does have a lot of tips and tricks up her sleeve, but not one specific gimmick that will really throw you off the rail. She does have one technique that I will talk about that definitely leads to a lot of her high percentage combos and can get killed really early. But other than that, Peach is, for the most part, a pretty normal character. Peach has a tendency to be floaty in a lot of games that she is in, and Smash is no exception. In Smash Ultimate, you can perform a float by holding jump after your mid-air jump has been used. Once you're in your floating position, you'll be able to float around freely. You can stay in place, move from side to side, so the possibilities are endless. You can even edge guard with it. However, this can lead into something even more insane. Float canceling. The way it's done sounds pretty hard to do, but it's actually pretty easy. That is, if you use jump buttons. The way you do it if you use button jump is you have to crouch and then hold your jump button at the same time to just barely be able to be picked up off the ground. Now, if you play with stick jump, this technique is not possible to do. There's no way to physically crouch and use your jump button at the same time since you'll have to flick the stick in the opposite direction and there's no way to do that. With flow canceling, this makes Peach an absolute menace. She can pull off combos just by flow canceling, fast aerials. Peach really does have it all. Peach's neutral B is a counter and involves her sacrificing a toad in order for him to spit up some kind of gas or maybe it's lean, I don't know. What's interesting about this counter is that it doesn't really abide by the laws of most counters. You see, a counter in Smash normally doubles or in some cases more than doubles the damage output that has been taken. So for example, if an S Smash does around 25%, then the counter will do, you know, 50%. But that's not the case for Peach's Toad. I'm going to be countering Bowser's F Smash first with Peach. Now look closely at what happens. Now let's try it with a more traditional counter. I've used K Rule for this example since K Rule's counter works as normal. See the difference? You see, Peach's counter doesn't really work by the normal counter laws of most counters. In other words, it doesn't do damage based on how much damage it has taken, and rather just does a set amount of damage, making this counter pretty bad compared to most counters. Peach's side B is probably the most normal move that she has. It's really just her throwing herself at you, and isn't really gimmicky of any kind. There's no armor, it doesn't really beat out much things, it does decent damage, and that's all that's really needs to be said about Peach's side B. Peach's up B allows her to open her parasol while jumping, and then being able to float down softly to the ground. This recovery sounds good, but it's not really. It doesn't get much vertical height, and if you try to reverse it, it is somehow a really, really bad recovery. For some reason, you can't go to the ledge unless your entire body is above the ground. More specifically, her feet. Any other part of her body is not on the stage, she will float down and there's nothing you can do about it. This has got to be Peach's most broken mechanic. Her down B involves 
with her pulling turnips from the ground. If you look closely at the turnips, you'll notice that each of them have a different facial expression. And which one that is, is very random. What depends on the facial expression though, is how much damage it does. Here's a table of all the odds of every single thing that Peach can pull from using Downbeat. If you notice that all the turnips, each one's facial expression does more damage. But as the more damage it does, the harder it is to pull. But then, you get to the last two. And you see that these aren't even turnips at all. These are insane casual items. The first one we have to talk about is the bob -omb. Now this is a Mario item. It <laughs> does a lot of damage and therefore is the rarest item to pull with an odds of 1 in 250. The bomb is a very deadly item to have and throwing it will most likely get you a stock indeed. The other item I have to talk about though is Mr. Satter. Why does Peach have a Mr. Satter? According to the Smash Wikipedia, Mr. Saturn is a creature from the Earthbound series. That's right, Earthbound. Peach is a Mario character. How does she have access to a Mr. Saturn? I have no idea, but for some reason, the game allows it. The game allows her to pull some funny no looking nose character out of her back pocket and throw it to break a shield from full. Now, if you throw it at any other time, it won't do as much damage, but it can break a shield in full. In fact, you could get a match that starts off like this. Yeah, pretty insane, right? And that's not even the worst of it. Apparently, Mr. Saturn is even easier to pull than a bob with odds of 1 in 116. First, I want to talk about Peach, because I was in the Phantom, and a lot of things came up that I really want to talk about here. So, number one, how did they mess up Peach's recovery? Please, tell me how. Because when she's reversed, she can't even grab the ledge. Mario and Falcon can do that, but she can't. Their recoveries get messed up too when they're reversed, but they can still sometimes grab the ledge. She never can, even when she's above it. That is so annoying. She's literally SD simulator. There is no way for ever, ever going to recover at her. Her recovery is the most dysfunctional part about her. As for the second one, I'm going to spend a lot more time on this one, so here we go. Turn. First, turnips themselves, they're fine. They're RNG based, but they're fine. That's under her gimmick. She pulls turnips out of the ground. My problem comes when she pulls out Mr. Saturn for a bob -off. I'm going to start with Mr. Saturn because that one annoys me most. Why does she have an Earthbound item? Where did she get it from? It's not from Mario. Why does she have it? It should be a green shell, red shell, or blue shell. Not Mr. Saturn. If anyone can explain how she canonically would obtain a Mr. Saturn, I would love to hear it in the comments. As for the second one, the bob -omb. Where does she pull that from? Why does she have it? How did it not explode in her pocket? Why does she need a bomb? Please, Sakurai, fix the recovery and remove the Mr. Saturn and replace it with a shell. Thank you. While Peach may not be a perfect character, she's definitely better than two little maniacs that I had discussed earlier. Now, when it comes to Peach, it really depends on your playstyle. If you want to play Peach, go for it. I won't offend you or anything. I'll just think you're kind of interesting. There's nothing wrong with deciding to play Peach. Some people can even play Peach at a really top level and look pretty cool with it. But if Peach seems a little too hard for you, don't waste your time. Peach is fine as she is. Well, 
I guess some balance changes. And overall, I hope you decide to play Peach whether or not this video exists. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.